one of the big uh, updates is really trying to uh, understand uh, the mechanism of action of, of the individual um, um, drugs. So one of the th one of the things that we're beginning to recognise is that many of the drugs have uh, more than one mechanism. Uh, that their action in epilepsy uh, may be dependent on, on more than one mechanism. Uh, so many of the drugs have multiple mechanisms. And although we like to try and classify medications into rather simple categories, I think increasingly we're beginning to understand uh, that uh, the uh, actions of drugs are, are much more complex than that. Um, and so when we when we try and think of something, make a sort of rather simple statement about, you know, should a medication with a different mechanism of action be preferentially prescribed, um, it, the, the, it's much more nuanced than that because the drugs that we have have multiple mechanisms of action. Some of them are shared, um, and uh, it's uh, although there is some evidence to indicate that um, overall we should perhaps be um, choosing drugs that have different mechanisms because uh, they may be more um, effective. Uh, the 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 uh, the answer to that question is much more nuanced. Well, the strategy for when any medication has, try, has failed is to try and work out why uh, it's failed. Um, and that um, then there are a whole host of reasons why uh, medications uh, fail. And they fail because of not only lack of efficacy, but quite often uh, because of side effects. And sometimes what you see uh, is that the drug that you're using seems to be or have some effect uh, but the problem is that it's not been possible to uh, increase the dose adequately to get the necessary effect because of side effects. And then sometimes choosing a, a drug with a very similar mechanism of action uh, that can sometimes be better tolerated uh, may be preferable. Um, and uh, and then it may be possible to use higher doses and, and, and get the effect that, that you need. Sometimes when you're using drugs um, with certain mechanisms of action, you see no um, benefit at all, uh, then it probably is worthwhile considering using medications with with other me uh, mechanisms. Uh, but I don't think we should be just, uh, I mean, the, the important question is really why has the, the therapy failed? And then to try and um, choose a drug that is based upon our understanding of that failure rather than just to, to automatically just reach into the cupboard for um, in a sort of rather um, uh, predetermined way, um, you know, the, the next drug on the shelf. The other thing that I think is also important to, to add to this um, is that, I mean, there's the other question about adding medications onto one another as well. So sometimes you have a baseline medication that may act in a certain way, usually acting, for example, at sodium channels. Um, and then uh, you have to choose a medication to add on. Um, and again, people have said, well, isn't it preferable to add on medications that have um, different mechanisms of action? But that's, again, to slightly misunderstand um, what mechanism of action is. So mechanism of action is, is a sort of broad brushstroke that's categorizing drugs into, into these uh, very broad categories. It's, it rarely re um, refers to things that act at exactly the same site on receptors or channels. And so drugs that seem to have the same mechanism of action that seem to act on the same channels can in fact also be synergistic. Um, so if they act at different uh, parts of that channel, then the binding of one drug to it may enhance the effect of another drug binding to a separate um, area of that channel or receptor. Um, and so, uh, you know, there can be synergism of drugs that seem to have in, in quotation marks, the same sort of mechanism of action. And I think sometimes that idea is lost um, in, in these rather broad brush, brush um, statements about same mechanism of action.